Hello children, welcome to the e-learning session of geography. Today we are going to study lesson number 9, agriculture. Children, please observe this picture. What we can see in the picture? We see a standing crop, a plowshare, etc. From this, it becomes obvious that this is a farmer's house. What a farmer does? A farmer keeps hens, sheep, goats, cattle. They are also seen in the picture. Yes or no? We can see these animals in the picture. What he gets from them? He gets milk, eggs, etc. from them. He sells hens, goats to earn money. He does all this for his substances, means for his living, he is doing all this work. All these occupations depend on natural factors. All these fall under agriculture. These occupations are supplementary to cultivation of crops. Agriculture has a wide scope. For our basic needs of food and clothing, we make use of plants and animals. Besides the cultivation of different crops, rearing cattle, sheep and goats, maintaining poultry farms, keeping bees, sericulture, horticulture, orchardry, pisciculture, pig farming, emu farming, etc., are also included in agriculture means agriculture is not only limited to farming in agriculture occupation resources like manpower animal implements etc are used advanced technology is employed in agriculture cultivation of crops it's considered to be the main and the most important occupation in the above picture, we see the changes in agricultural practice, means how the agriculture was done in the olden days and now how modern agriculture is done. In the past, primitive man had to wander in the forest to sustain himself on the collected forest produce, means in the olden times, man used to move from here and there for his living to collect the fruits or other things he get from the forest. Later, he learned the art of cultivation and started getting greater production from land. Through this, he could provide for the whole year's need for food grain. He also started obtaining a number of products through floriculture, Horticulture, rearing animals, pisciculture, etc. Abandoning nomadic life means uh, leaving his nomadic life. He undertook different occupations related to agriculture at the same place. Means now the man do not have to roam here and there in search of food. At one place also he can make or produce his own food. Now we are going to study different occupations that come under the scope of agriculture. First one is animal husbandry. Rearing different animals and obtaining various products from them for substances is the core of animal husbandry. And the first activity included in animal husbandry is Dairy farming. Cows, oxen, buffaloes, etc. are reared for agriculture related work. Rearing milk animals. Milk animals means the animals which are giving milk. And animals which can be employed in farming is also an occupation. It is considered to be an inseparable part of mixed farming. It has become quite commercial in recent times. In India, it has started changing recently. 
commercial dairy farming is undertaken mainly for meat and milk sheep and goat rearing this is also a traditional occupation that is generally carried out in hilly tracts and semi arid regions with dry climate sheep and goats survive on short grasses shrubs and acacia sheep are eating small small shrubs which grow in hilly rural areas away from the urban settlements in india it is mainly carried out for meat sheep rearing is carried out to obtain wool poultry keeping hens and other fowl is a common practice in all parts of the world it is a traditional occupation today it is carried out as a household occupation and also on a commercial basis since nowadays people are keeping hens for selling and using it for other purposes running a poultry on a commercial basis requires a lot of care for this scientific methods are employed in india this occupation is generally located in the areas close to big cities as they provide a ready market for this occupation in some areas rabbits pigs and emu rearing is also undertaken bee keeping this occupation is undertaken to obtain honey and wax bees in order to collect honey hover around the plants that bear flower this promotes the process of pollination as a result the trees bear large number of fruits and the crop yields increases bee keeping is an important occupation with respect to agriculture pisciculture means fish farming farm ponds are dug out for this purpose water is stored in such ponds fish seeds are released in the pond for this seeds of fresh water species are used in order to achieve the best growth of fish scientific methods are used fishing in open seas has a number of risk factor different types of fish and other aquatic animals get caught in the fishing net separating them becomes a major task all organisms do not fetch the same price means all types of fishes do not have the same price next occupation is sericulture sericulture is the process of taking out silk thread from the silk worm silk thread is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth these threads are very fine and strong and from this one can weave soft silk cloth getting silk thread from cocoon and manufacturing silk cloth are different occupation they are not included in agriculture different organization supply silk moth eggs to the farmers leaves of mulberry trees are the main food for this silk worm once planted the mulberry tree survives for 15 years so expenditure of planting the trees every year is saved nursery in the last few years the area under floriculture cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants and horticulture has increased these plantations require a high standard of seedlings cuttings bulbs and seeds this has led to the development of nurseries nurseries give good returns types of farming different types of agriculture have evolved due to geographical and cultural diversity the type of farming depends upon the purpose and the aims of method of farming the crops being cultivated the technique used land use etc broadly the farming types are divided into two types subsistence farming and commercial farming 
subsistence farming intensive farming and shifting cultivation are the two types of traditional farming intensive farming is carried out in one and the same farm for years together means in intensive farming for all the years only one type of crop is grown whereas in shifting cultivation every year a new area is chosen for cultivation after a specific period of time old areas are again used for cultivation shifting cultivation is a primitive type of cultivation this type of cultivation is practiced in the tropics in densely forested areas farmers initially select a piece of land in the forest in order to make it cultivable he clears the land by cutting down the trees plants removing the shrubs and grass once the cut trees dry out he burns them the leftover ash gets mixed in the soil and act as a manure sowing and harvesting is done before the rainy season the production obtained from this is not sufficient to fulfill the food requirement hence people undertake hunting fishing and gathering of bulbs and roots from the forest in this type of farming the fallow period is longer than the crop period extensive grain farming and plantation agriculture are the two major types covered under commercial farming extensive grain farming means where the farm size is greater than 200 hectares means a big piece of land is taken under cultivation due to large farm size and sparse population in the region this type of farming is carried out with the help of machines like tractors and crushers pesticides are sprayed with the help of helicopter or planes means extensive farming tells a big piece of land is being cultivated monocrop monocrop means one single type of crop is cultivated on the whole piece of land plantation farming farm size of plantation agriculture is 40 hectares or above as the plantation agriculture is practiced in hilly areas use of machines is not possible and hence local manpower becomes very important the crop for which the geographical conditions are favorable is planted this is a single crop cultivation practice This type of farming began and spread mostly during the colonial period. It is practiced in the tropics. Climate, manpower, deterioration of environment, economic and managerial problems are the major issues faced by this type of agriculture. Market gardening means farmers cultivate vegetables and other items in the vicinity of urban centers. to cater the demand of city people this type of cultivation works on the principle of economics that is demand and supply how much fruits and vegetables are needed in the city that much only are cultivated by the farmers horticulture or floriculture cultivation of flowers and fruits is a sub type of market gardening fruits and flowers are the major products of this type of farming in this type of farming modern as well as traditional methods are used the size of farm is small and every plant is cared properly nowadays chemical fertilizers greenhouse gases etc are used to increase the production of these flowers and fruits